Hi everyone, welcome to another webinar by Royal Cyber. My name is Meir. I take care of the middleware and integration practice at Royal Cyber. I'll be your host and one of the speakers for today. Some ground rules for a smooth experience before we begin. If you have trouble viewing my screen or hearing me, please notify in the chat window located on the right side of the pane. You can post your questions and comments in the chat box anytime during the presentation. There will be a dedicated slot for Q&A towards the end of the presentation, where your questions will be answered in sequence. You can also post your questions or request any follow-up information on the email shown right here. In the next 30 minutes, we'll show you how Solace and Mulesoft, any point platform, helps in building a real-time event-driven digital enterprise, which will make your organization ready for tomorrow's challenges. Now that's me on the left side. I've been into middleware and integration space, delivering turnkey solutions to customers across the globe for a good number of years. The other speaker for today is my colleague, Mr. Muhammad Aqib Arif. Mr. Aqib, can you please introduce yourself? Thanks, Mir. Hello, everyone. I am Muhammad Aqib working as a senior software engineer with Royal Cyber. I'm also Mulesoft Certified Integration Architect and Solace Certified Solutions Consultant. Uh, thank you, Mr. Akhep. Here's a quick look at the agenda for today. We'll start with an introduction to Royal Cyber and who we are. We'll look at what is event-driven architecture. We'll learn about a Solace Pub Plus and its features in brief. We'll also learn about what is MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform and uh, the API-led connectivity approach. We will also look at how to use Solace and MuleSoft to process real-time business events and uncover the infinite possibilities it has to offer. And a quick look at the Solace MuleSoft connector created by Royal Cyber team. We'll have a brief demo on the Solace and MuleSoft integration using the Solace Pub Sub Plus connector created by us. And finally, a surprise offer for today's webinar attendees. So stay tuned until the end to get advantage. Royal Cyber is an IT consulting and digital transformation company specializing in services, solutions, and software. Innovating since 2002 with a thousand plus professionals and 600 plus happy clients worldwide, including USA, Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Middle East. Across the globe, Royal Cyber provides reliable and high-performing solutions and services in commerce, cloud, analytics, mobile, blockchain, AI, and middleware integration, to name a few. Okay, before we move on, it's very important to understand one thing. So what are events? And what is an event-driven architecture? If you know what it is, let us know your understanding of this concept in the chat box below. So what is an event? Events are all around us. An event can be defined as a significant change in state. For example, you wake up when the alarm bell rings. So the alarm bell is an event that triggers your mind to wake up from your slumber. You stop your car when the traffic light changes to red and you move when it is green. Now this change in color of the traffic lights is the event that triggers your action, whether to stop the car or keep moving. And finally, another example, your heart. Your heart pumping the blood is an event which triggers blood to flow to your brain. So as you see, event data helps to understand yourself, the worth of your business. The one who's able to process this information using the right tools and techniques will always be ahead of the competition. So what is an event-driven architecture? By definition, an event-driven architecture is a software architecture paradigm promoting the production, detection, consumption of, and reaction to events. It is an integration pattern which is widely used to create highly scalable applications. It is adaptable and can be used for small, medium, and large-scale 
complex use cases. The event-driven architecture is made up of highly decoupled event processing components that transmit and process events asynchronously. As shown in the figure here, events generated by system of records or e-commerce applications on the left are communicated to the other applications on the right side by passing events over a network of producers transporter consumer combination event producers are responsible for producing the event or capturing the events generated by the system of records event consumers are responsible for consuming the event data or passing it to the downstream applications an event transport is a mechanism to retain the event data until it is consumed so what are some of the benefits of event driven architecture well one of them is it enables an application to maintain data consistency across multiple services without using distributed transactions. Now that you understand the significance of events and event-driven architecture, the next big question would be how to capture and process these events. Are there any tools, solutions in the market that help you accomplish this? Well, the good news is, yes, there are. There are several tools and solutions available that can solve this challenge. And one of the best solutions available today is PubSub Plus from Solis, which tackles this challenge seamlessly without compromising the performance SLA of your business. So let's look at what is Solis PubSub Plus. Solis PubSub Plus is a complete event-driven and event management platform for real-time enterprises. What it means is you don't need any other supporting software to run this platform. It is complete in its entirety. It helps enterprises design, deploy, and manage event-driven architecture across multiple deployment models like hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, and even IoT environments so they can be more integrated and event-driven. A PubSub Plus makes it so easy to connect to all kinds of applications because it supports your favorite protocols like AMQP, JMS, MQTT, REST, and so on. And it also provides you guaranteed delivery of messages that are sent across its queues. And for those enterprises that are concerned about data security and, and regulatory compliance, you can also install PubSub Plus on your on-prem environment within your data center with no exposure to public cloud whatsoever. The PubSub Plus is easier to deploy. It enables a lighter weight clients, superior DevOps visibility, and more messaging functionality than its competitors. So let's look at some of the key features and capabilities of Solace PubSub Plus. The first one is the event portal. Event portal is a great tool to collaborate with your team to design, create, discover, catalog, share, visualize, secure, and manage all your event streams across your enterprise. At the application level, PubSub Plus Event Portal gives your developers and architects tools to design and describe and discover events within their system. And to see the relationship between applications and events, making your event-driven applications and microservices easier to design, deploy, and evolve. The next important component is event mesh management. To manage the infrastructure, PubSub Plus, event mesh management, and monitoring solutions makes it so easy to deploy your event brokers, create event mesh, and to monitor the health and optimize the performance of your event-driven systems. Now, this is exactly where you deploy event broker services in public clouds and connect them together to form an event mesh to share events and data across your distributed enterprise. The next comes event broker. Event broker supports your event-driven message exchange patterns across a variety of applications, devices, and environments. Now, PubSub Plus event brokers power an event mesh, a modern messaging layer that can be deployed across every environment and component of the distributed enterprise. 
to stream events across them all. It runs anywhere. It can be easily deployed in your favorite clouds, containers, and even iPaaS and PaaS environment. It also offers powerful streaming APIs and integrations. At the integration level, Topsa Plus APIs and streaming integrations provide a variety of on-ramps and off-ramps to the mesh, including support for open standard protocols and APIs like MQTT, JMS, REST, as well as proprietary messaging APIs to connect legacy and modern applications. Edge streaming technologies like Dell Boomi, Adaptress, Stream, Stream Sets, to integrate third-party applications and connectors for technologies like Kafka. And no product is, is good without offering security features. Top Surplus platform enables messaging architectures that deliver consistent multi-protocol client authentication and authorization security across the enterprise. Deeply integrated with enterprise authentication services using minimal set of components. Finally, it offers a cloud console. Now, all of these above features and capabilities can be accessed through a single cloud console with a single login, making it easy for architects, developers, and other users to work and collaborate to drive the enterprise EDA mission forward. So as I said before, Solace provides enterprise messaging APIs that enable you to develop applications for use with Solace Pub Sub Plus. Each of these APIs include sample applications, release notes, and developer documentation. And these APIs are available in your favorite languages like C, .NET, iOS, Java, JavaScript, JMS, and Node.js. Now, it, it supports open protocols like AMQP, JMS, MQTT, and uh, even open APIs such as PAHO and QPID. So let's log on to the cloud console of Solace Pub Sub Plus on the cloud and take a look. Here we are on the uh, Solace Cloud Console. I go to Cluster Manager, and I've already created a cluster in, in the cloud of my choice in a specific region. And I click select. This page shows you the status of your, uh, your cluster. And these are the details that you might need later on. To connect to this cluster from your new application. Well, so we're going to look at one of the capabilities of uh, Solace Pop Sub Plus, which is the ability to publish messages or events to a topic and subscribe them. So there is a try me page where you can try to send and receive messages using Solace web messaging API. All right, the first step is to connect. All right, the connection is successful. Uh, and type a topic name. Let's keep it as try me. Let's say hello. Webinar for these events. I will select the type as text. Uh, before I hit publish, I need to subscribe to the same topic on the subscriber site. Let's click connect. The connection is established, which is indicated by this icon. And I would uh, subscribe to the same topic I'm trying to publish. I subscribe. So this tells me that I'm subscribed to a topic called Prime. Now let's send a message. Hello, webinar participants. Publish. There you go. It says one message has been published. And on the subscriber side, the published message has been received as a text. Okay, let's go back. Before moving on, it's very important to understand that we have only scratched the surface of the Solace Pub Sub Plus platform. The platform in itself is very rich and very deep, that it requires its own webinar to talk about all of its capabilities and features. And the objective here is to introduce you to Solace of Surplus platform and show you how easy it is to integrate seamlessly with Mules of any point platform. Now that we understand how Solace helps in capturing events, 
Let's see how MuleSoft's AnyPun platform can be used to process those events and get business insights from them. First, what is AnyPun platform? AnyPun platform is a unified, highly productive, hybrid integration platform that creates a seamless application network of apps, data, and devices with API-led connectivity approach, allowing you to connect with mobile apps, B2B partners, enterprise applications, legacy systems, web services, etc., and even perform complex batch operations and processes and data synchronization tasks in a secure manner. The AnyPoint platform consists of two planes, control plane and a runtime plane. The services that are new lab instances are deployed in the new runtimes in the runtime plane. These can be hosted either on on-prem, which is this, or in the cloud environment of your choice. Now, <clears throat> the control plane handles the complete management process from design to operation. So this remains on cloud hub. The platform offers a collection of runtimes, frameworks, tools, and web applications. Tools such as the Anybun Studio and frameworks for building and testing APIs and integrations for Anybun platform. New runtime for running applications and uptime policies. Now, this can be hosted on new in the Cloud Hub or customer hosted in your on-prem or in a cloud of your choice. It also offers portals like the Exchange platform, Anybody Exchange, which is used to discover and share reusable APIs, connectors, templates, and so on. Now, it is used to promote Center for Enablement, Central Repo of all of your APIs within the organization. It also offers a Design Center portal, which is used to design APIs. It also has a, a very interactive flow designer for building integration applications that consume APIs using a no-code approach. It offers a runtime manager for deploying, running, managing, and monitoring applications. It also has a very powerful API manager for defining your API policies. The Mule runtime provides an environment for operating all types of Mule applications. It follows the build once and deploy anywhere pattern. The runtime, which is identical across cloud and hybrid deployments, supports different deployment models that are flexible and adapt to the most complex of hybrid operation constraints. Now you can enforce all the available out of the box policies with the same level of ease whether you're deploying on Mule Cloud Hub or any cloud or even hybrid or RTF environment. It's very important to talk about the concept called APL and connectivity, which was pioneered by MuleSoft. So APL connectivity is a disciplined way to connect data to applications to improve reusable and purposeful APIs. So with this approach, APIs are designed and productized for a specific purpose and play one of these roles within the specific API layers, i.e. unlocking data from systems of records, they're called system APIs, composing data into processes, and these are called process APIs or delivering experience. These APIs are called experience APIs. In a nutshell, APL and connectivity helps you connect applications, data, and devices through APIs. It allows you to deliver applications that are loosely coupled. It provides a plug-and-play repository of assets to be used in an agile manner. It promotes clear contracts between systems, reusability, discoverability, visibility, security, availability, and resiliency. It also allows the business to just move faster. Now here is a sample architecture based on API connectivity now by exposing systems through APIs and composing or recomposing them 
teams can create an API infrastructure that enables plug-in data applications and systems. For instance, Salesforce, Facebook, and other modern applications more easily to API-fied legacy system. Now, this makes retiring or even modernizing systems much, much easier. As you can see, the system APIs are used to expose data from core assets like legacy systems, web services, database, mainframes, and self applications. The process APIs are used for orchestration, composable APIs, and microservices. These experience APIs are purpose built APIs for applications that are like IoT applications. Uh, your uh, desktop applications, mobile applications, and so on. And C4E is a concept which allows APIs to be reusable and discoverable. Now, these APIs are available for business to self-serve, reducing any dependency on IT teams. So with this API infrastructure, it's called a application network architecture, old legacy systems, and event streaming applications can be seamlessly integrated through APIs. And new systems can be plugged into the network as easily as plugging in a printer. With an API-like connectivity, organizations can better realize their business initiatives, whether it's providing a mobile app or improving the partner experience. Now that we understand what is Celeste PubSub Plus and what is MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform, and let's look at how both of these Platforms allow us to process real-time events. Now, events can be generated from device different sources like mobile devices, cloud services, or from IoT devices. Now, these events require to be managed by and published by an event management system and in order to interact with data processing and management systems. As seen here, the events that are generated can be easily published to Solace Pubsa Plus, which is an event management platform. The events will then be consumed by Muse of APIs on the right for processing the data and sending the data to different destinations for various use cases, such as data analytics, big data management, social media interactions, and for interacting with any required system. The mule experts at Royal Cyber understood that there is not an easy way to connect Solace Puff Plus with different applications seamlessly today. A lot of customers using Solace and MuleSoft go through the hassle of using multiple generic connectors like, J like JMS or HTTPS connectors and configure them accordingly, which may have issues. It is also difficult to nail down issues while using generic connectors as issues could occur on both ends. And to solve this problem, we have created a dedicated MuleSoft Solace Pub Surplus connector, which integrates with Solace Pub Surplus and allows you to stream events seamlessly. So let's look at this connector in detail. We have created a connector which helps you connect MuleSoft with Solace Pub Surplus in a seamless fashion to process your business events. Right, so this connector uh, uses SMF and it supports multiple protocols like TCP and MQTT. And it has the following capabilities. Publish operation, subscribe operation, and an on new message, it's a listener operation. Now this connector, in order for you to use this connector, you should be using AnyPoint Studio 7.3 and later versions. And new runtime should be 4.2.x and later. Now this, Connector has not been published on the AnyPoint Exchange. It will be available on AnyPoint Exchange very soon. So the function of the publish operation is to publish messages to queues or topics of Solace Pub Surplus. Now, what do you need to publish messages to topics and queues? Obviously, we need a topic name or a queue name, the message payload, and it responds back with the status of the publish action. The consume operation is used to consume messages as even processes that are sent over queues or topics, right? So this operation also requires a topic or a queue name as an input, and it returns the message payload, which was read from the topic of the queue. The on new message operation is basically a listener 
to trigger the mule flow when a new message arrives on the queue or a topic of your storage of surplus. Now this also requires a topic or a queue name and also returns the message payload as a response. So here is a quick look at the global element properties of the connector configuration. It takes an host URL as an input. This should be the URL of your Solace pop surplus. And your Solace account credentials, username and password. Message VPN is the name of this one is uh, message VPN service. And then you can select a protocol of your choice, whether it is TCP or M2TP. So we have made this configuration and you can see that in your global configuration elements tab in your Anypoint Studio. Now let's look at some of the features of Solace Pop Surplus Connector. It allows you to publish event messages to Solace Pop Surplus topics and queues. It supports uh, multiple protocols like TCP and QTT, but in future, you will see a support for a lot more protocols. It allows you to subscribe to messages or consume messages from your topics and queues. It additionally has a connection tooling feature that helps you to manage your connections automatically. It's time for a quick demo of the connector as well as the Solace Pop Surplus and use of any innovation. Uh, Mr. Optim will show you a quick demo on how to process real-time events using Solace Pop Surplus and MuleSoft Anypoint platform. Over to you, Optim. Thanks, Mir. Hello, everyone. Today, I will show you how to capture the real-time events using Solace Pop Surplus and process them using MuleSoft's Anypoint platform seamlessly. I have a mobile application which is a tic-tac-toe game. This app emits an event when a player wins the game. This event notification is published to a topic in Solace Pubsa Plus using MQTT protocol. There is a Mule application running on my machine which is subscribed to this topic. It consumes the event message using TCP protocol as soon as it is received and saves it to a file in JSON format. This file will be fed to a reporting application like Power BI to generate the game analytics in real time. Let's play the game and see how this integration works. So here I will play the game a few times. When the game ends, the events are published to Solace PubSub Plus topic as you can see and then we can straight away see the changes in analytics dashboard let's refresh the report and see the updated graph let's play one more time and refresh the report to see if it is getting real-time updates there you go all of this is done using Solace Pubsa Plus connector for MuleSoft created by Royal Cyber. Here are three operations it supports currently. Now let me show you that how we have used the Solace Pubsa Plus connector to subscribe to the events. So here is the own new message operation of Solace Pubsa Plus connector which subscribe to the topic or queues of Solace Pubsa Plus. The connector takes the following as input URL of Solace Pubsa Plus service including protocol and port number the Solace Pubsa Plus username and password now specify the message VPN and select the protocol to be used you can find this information within the Solace Pubsa Plus console as shown here We have also got the publish operation in the connector which publishes the message to topic and queues in Solace Pubsa Plus. Let's try to publish some data. First navigate to Solace Pubsa Plus console and open Try Me tab. And subscribe to the topic where the message will be published from Mule application.
Now open Postman and type the URL of the listener configured to MuleSoft application. Click the send button to publish the message. Now let's check if there are any messages received by the subscriber in the Solace Pub Sub Plus console. There you go. One message has been received by the Solace Pub Sub Plus subscriber. We have come to the end of this demo session. If you have any questions or comments, please post on the chat and I will be glad to answer. Over to you, Mir. Thank you, Akib. Uh, it was really interesting. Now, if you understood the power of Solace Pub Sub Plus and MuleSoft's A1 platform in helping you to build a digital enterprise, it's, it's very important to choose a partner who's good at implementing both platforms. So here is a checklist you can use to choose your ideal implementation partner. And to ensure the success in your digital transformation journey, your ideal implementation partner should have the following capability. They should know how to implement cloud and API strategies. It's important to understand your organization's current integration and API capabilities, as well as the maturity of the business in terms of strategy, organization, community, governance, architecture, and project delivery. Your partner knows that it takes time. It takes time, patience, leniency on contract, and slow procurement processes. They should have certified implementation specialists. You should not have a good development platform, but also experienced and certified developers who can efficiently and effectively deliver the solution on time. They should have SMEs or experts who can recommend which applications to move by when and what can be retired by when. Not all applications and systems can be modernized or integrated in a single go. You need to decide on their sequence depending upon current requirements, complexity, and even some may keep on running as legacy services. They should be creative and innovative. They should be able to suggest changes in processes and people approach to ensure the success of the initiative. In order to achieve true digital transformation, people and processes are just as important to the journey as the technology in itself. Like any dramatic transformation process, digital transformation has to include a new way of thinking. You can't expect to transform if you do things the same old way. They should help facilitate enablement of the employees who are not skilled in the technology or the approach. The core Center for Enablement or C4E team will need to promote to evangelize across the organization. After all, the principles of reuse and self-service that a Center for Enablement promotes will not help deliver fast and better if the organization doesn't know about or use them. They should recommend and involve tools that drive automation. It is essential to give a self-service approach to the APLS strategy, modern DevOps, CI-CD principles, and support available in the any platform a significant role here. Royal Cyber, fortunately, tick marks all these items and perfectly fit the bill to become your choices, news of implementation, Solace implementation, digital transformation partner, as you will find out in the next slide. So the most important question, rather a billion dollar question is why Royal Cyber? We have certified MuleSoft consultants and certified Solace consultants who can trust to get the job done at a fraction of the cost and in your own time zone. We have created MuleSoft assets and solutions to help you jumpstart your project development activities. Our consultants have deep skills in several middleware technologies like, like MuleSoft, Solace, Confluent, Apache Kafka, and Cloud DevOps, and so on. We have strategic partner relationship with several ID organizations, helping you to save significant operational costs. We have a strong center, center of excellence for the middleware and integration practice 
sole purpose is to ensure every integration project exceeds customer expectations. Last but but not the least, global and the local presence. Our consultants and SMEs are available to work from on-site, onshore, and offshore locations. And here comes the surprise: a special offer from Royal Cyber to all the webinar attendees today. Now this is a complimentary offer to help customers cope up with the unexpected disruption in the business due to COVID-19 pandemic. As part of this offer, we are offering assessment, a complimentary assessment of your existing MuleSoft and Solace landscape with recommendations to achieve significant cost savings and performance improvements. We are also offering a one month complimentary MuleSoft professional services Solace Professional Services are experts to work and accelerate your integration initiatives or any of your production issues. Additionally, we are offering an on-site or offshore certified MuleSoft and Solace certified consultants and SMEs at a very negligible cost. So, if you want to build, if you want to build real-time, event-driven digital enterprise to make it future ready, accelerate innovation, and go to market safely with peace of mind, take advantage of this offer, and join hands with Royal Cyber to quickly achieve your goals. Now this offer is valid for 48 hours from now and is very popular with our webinar attendees. So I would highly encourage all of you to reach out to us today before it's closed. Now it's time for some Q&A. Thank you all. I know it doesn't end here. Should you have more questions or need additional information, you can always reach us at info at royalcyber.com. Thanks again and stay safe.